Welcome to Lan Kwai Fong, Hong Kong's famous nightlife district. But strangely, Buddhist monks have often been seen among the partygoers. We asked people on the streets about the monks. Clearly they're fake. On weekends when there's tourists, they sell you shit, they ask you for money, because they want to scam the tourists. I think I paid 400 Hong Kong and 50 Australian dollars for these. I thought it was for a good cause, but maybe I was robbed. Real Buddhist monk, I don't see them going around the streets asking people for money or selling any goods at all. When we were on the other side, at, you know, not Hong Kong, but over on the other side, Cologne. Yeah, a monk like him came and did his blessing, gave us bracelets. We gave him money, but it wasn't enough. He wanted more. We we only gave him twenty. No, fifteen. And he wanted one hundred. And he actually took the bracelets off our wrist. And so we just scammed that bastard. And I told him that Jesus Christ is the way, and that is shit. We have actually made statements condemning what they have done to the public in deceiving them. Definitely, it has affected the reputation of Buddhism. Continuously, we have advised the people not to give them any money. And that's the end of the answer, because if you don't give them any money, there's nothing they can do. So is this legal? No. In June, two mainland Chinese men were sentenced to jail for impersonating monks. However, the problem still exists throughout Hong Kong and even elsewhere. It seems like there are fewer fake monks in LKF now, which is obviously a good thing. Um, but I feel like more can be done in Hong Kong. Because this is not just a problem here, but also like a global problem. I just got back from New York and I see the same thing. Fake ones everywhere. But they have signs from the government in tourist areas warning people not to give money to panhandlers who are, who are, who are not real monks. So um, I think more should be done in Hong Kong, more can be done in Hong Kong to address the problem. Coconuts TV.